it's Angela here with River Mountain Homestead well today's been a pretty rainy day and so we had just uh, decided we would just sit around relax just get a few things done in the house and a delivery that was supposed to come yesterday actually made it today and of course right in the middle of the rain and this is not a small delivery this is a large delivery so one of us had to uh, bring the truck and the trailer out because delivery trucks can't get to our house. So, um, and then the other had to bring the tractor. Well, I don't do well with the trailer, so I got stuck on the tractor in the rain. That was not fun. But now we're down here and Kevin is unloading the um, package on with the tractor onto our trailer. So we'll get some footage of that if we can. Every time we get a large package, uh, something delivered, um, our solar panels, um, this is Kevin's sawmill, just anything large that comes on a big truck like this, we have to come down about, I'd say, maybe two miles to meet the truck so that they can get in and out and turn around. And so it's always a task having to bring down the tractor uh, if it won't fit in the back of the truck, bring back, bring down the trailer. And he was set up and ready to go yesterday. And uh, we waited till about 8:30 last night when we finally gave up because we figured he wasn't going to make it. And so they called this morning and said they were about 30 minutes away, which is, was a surprise to us because we didn't expect them to deliver again until next Tuesday in our area so I know Kevin's excited to get this today and um, we've got to work on getting some uh, clearing done so that he can get this up and running but um, I'm excited for him to have the meal because we will be doing the siding for our house and we will be building our barn and of course you know how we are we're always using wood, so this will definitely come in handy. Don't do that to my umbrella. Rude. He's in trouble. That was mine. And that has to get me back to the house dry. I always get excited for deliveries like this because I get the pallets. I have so many pallets stacked up I don't even know what to do with them, but I just get excited every time. I always say I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, but... Things pretty heavy according to him. That's my cue to get back on the tractor and head home. Well, as you can see, the ugly umbrella that was impeding operations survived. Uh, it was in my way, and uh, I just couldn't work with it. And un aside. unbeknown to Miss Angela, uh, her poor pallet over here uh, is already destroyed. So Aww. that'll make her nice and happy. But. Oh well, here's what it is. Like we need another pallet. Looks like scrap firewood to me. Apparently I bent the umbrella. So it is now contoured just so perfectly for runoff that it yep. won't drip on her shoulder anymore. You owe me an umbrella. 
Eh, you'll be alright. You're not gonna melt, I promise you. But we got her home here, guys. Uh, she was a little heavy. I think packaged weight here is nearly 1,300 pounds or so. I uh, had a neighbor stop there and uh, he wanted to make sure my little old tractor could handle it. If not, he was going to grab his and unload it for me. So it's good to have folks like that around. Uh, this is the Woodland Mills uh, HM130. It'll handle a 30 uh, inch log. I got the little extension on mine, so I'll be able to cut, uh, I think, 16 foot, 16 foot, 11 inch, something like that with it. Uh, my biggest problem is it's going right over there somewhere. And uh, waiting on my track hole buddy to come by and, and look at what I'm wanting to get done. And then I think we're going to go ahead and clear another acre, acre and a half here and probably go ahead and start working on building this uh, pad for this pole barn also which is going to go somewhere in amongst this mess right here. This is one corner you see stubbed up. You can't see the other one, but it's down there by that wood pile. I think we're probably gonna go ahead and try to do like a 60 by 60 pad, but I figure that barn's going to end up about 40 by 60, and then I'll have 20 foot. That's level off that side over there. But that's what we got going on on this nasty rainy day. Miss Angela wants to Not see. Not me. Our chicken. Our chicken. We, we've got an ornery chicken. That's our naughty chicken. She had hen. She has decided to um, start attacking all the other hens, so we had to pull her out, and so she has her own little space for now. And the yep. other ones are doing much better. I'd noticed that. I was going to send her to freezer camp. <laughs> I but, noticed uh, that um, we were losing feathers, and we actually lost two birds, and then, um, and of course, she had no feathers missing. And then, um, <laughs> and then once, we witnessed her in action. Yeah, and we witnessed her in action. And also, I noticed egg production had gone down. So we pulled her out. Things are getting back to normal. And then our other, our Rhode Island Red over here she has actually been attacked and she's injured so we're we've got out. her out trying to get her to heal so we have a naughty chicken and an injured chicken <laughs> other than that uh, uh you probably see some kind of build coming out of this poor old thing here, uh, it's probably going to be a few weeks. I'm probably going to pluck her off the trailer and set her over there out of the way and leave her be until I can get to her because uh, I did not get a trailer mounted rig. This will be permanent. And I've got to have my hole to put it first. So, that's what we got going for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if all goes well, we'll see you tomorrow.